Okay, so welcome to your ninth episode, I think. Yep, your ninth episode of Platform Tutorials. Um, this is on the Construct 2 engine, I think. Yes. So to check that one there. Uh, just to be on the safe side, it's fine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select these, considering... This is what the whole episode is going to be on today. So we're just going to make this look a bit nicer. Bit nicer. There we go. Okay. So what we've got then is we've got our mystery boxes that disappear once you hit them. However, the coin spawns inside the character and we want it to bounce up and shoot up pretty much. So the way we're going to do this is pretty much the same way as on Collision with Snail. How that shoots the player up, we're just going to shoot the coin up. So yeah. Um, we're going to need to add something. Uh, we're going to need to add a behavior of platform to this. And set default controls to nothing. And then you can leave max speed and everything else to default. Just make sure you can't control the coin, because that would not be good. At all. Um, so yeah. Okay. Just for now, I'm going to move our character all the way over here. Just so that we don't have to fill a bit with this. Okay. So. When we play... Our character is now straight over here, and we could just do that. So, as you can see, do I, do I keep on saying so? Uh, is that the word of the day? As you can see, when I run into those, then the um, what's this saying? Oh yeah, the coins spawn on on a, on top of us pretty much, and we don't want that. We want them to spawn on top of the box and shoot up. So it'll go spawn right there, jump, come down, and land. That's exactly what we're going to do today. So, let's do this then. So again, awesome. So, so, so. Um, let's go into our event sheet then. And we're going to work down here and then just put it up into the game mechanics later. Because, you know, why not? So we're going to have player, no, really, we're here, we don't want this anymore, forget that, go away, stop it, stop it, there we go, oh, okay, so, we want, well, 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 let's just delete that, hmm, Let's just press S and go into player is jumping. And move that down a bit. So if the player is jumping, then destroy the stone box. The stone question box. Mystery box, you know, that thing. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Neno. I only just realised that. Um, so, how are we going to do this? We're going to, let's have that. So, the player is greater than, miss, no, it's called stone question box, oops, stone question how do I do this stone question box there we go dot oh uh, don't worry about that that's on my other screen <laughs> dot y mm. yes quiet so if the player if the place Y is 
greater than the stone question box is Y then we're gonna want to system create object coin layer 0 at stone question box dot X ah. yeah dot X and then stone question box dot Y So once it's spawned it, we're going to want to have the coin set vector y to minus 700. That's not doing anything now. Let's just try getting rid of this. There we go. It's a bit buggy how it stays up there. But that's collisions, I think. So let's just turn down the collisions on the old coin. Go into here, get the collisions, and on this, we're going to want them to be way down there. Just make sure all the coins in blue, wrapped in blue. And we should be fine. What does that button do? Toggle back. Oh. Oh! Ho ho! Didn't know that. I wish, oh, I wish there was a way of just editing in them all at the same time. So that you can move them in like a square or something. Is there a way? Oh, there is a way. Uh, oh, oh, that was a bad idea. Okay, I'm gonna just set up collisions on this and then. I'll... Okay, let's see if that's fixed any of the problems with that. And it does. There you go. So you jump into it, and it goes up. Oh, would you look at that. And also, you can also see the that we can't jump on it from the top and basically what that is is this bit here how we've set it to greater than will be the bottom and less than will be the top so on the snail it was less than because we want it to be picked up if it was hit on the bottom however on this we want to see if it was hit from the bottom. No. The snail wants to be hit from the top and the box wants to be on, hit on the bottom. There you go. Click. See? Explanations. It's brilliant. Right. You gotta love making games. It's so fun. So, um, yeah, that's the mystery box is done. Completely over and done with. Easy. So, yeah. I hope that was fun. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this episode and stay tuned for the next one.